We use HTML in order to structure the document. In our case, we have an article and we have three links. But once you have a piece of content, you need to ask yourself, what is the text that I can use in order to wrap all of this content right here? Can I use a nav? For sure not. I can't use a nav. This is not a navigation. I'm not using this link in order to navigate through the document or in order to navigate through the website. Can I use the section tag? For sure not, because this is not a section. And section is used to group content relates to a single theme. Can I use an article? No, because this is an article and these are the tag links. They have nothing to do with an article. This is not a forum post. This link that are not used as a related articles. And the last question, did they have any other special tag? So for example, tag. I don't have the special element or the special HTML element and I can't use this other special tag. But why at first I should wrap all of these links within a tag? I can leave them like that. Nothing wrong here. And the answer is I want to divide these elements from the other part of this article content. And the second thing here, when we group all of this link within one element, it will be easier to style this element by using CSS. So we need a tag that helps us to divide this element from the others and to apply the style easily. What is this tag? So we have the tag div. Let's just wrap all of these links within the div. Div is used in general to group the content. So it can easily be styled using the class or ID attributes. And this div is used when there is no other semantic elements so that can be used in order to wrap all of these links. And for people who already use JavaScript, so this div can wrap all of these tags in order to add some interactivity to this specific element or remove it from the document. Okay, let's just create another div after this div. Okay, I'll just add the text here. By default, the browser add a line break after the div without even defining that from the style. If we just keep creating multiple divs, you will see that I have a line break. So you can control that by using CSS. Let's just remove all of that. So to summarize, we use div in order to group the content to be easy styled. And when there is no other semantic element, to group the length of the content depending on the content type. So in this case, we need to use div instead of any other special tag.